Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick demo of the latest version of Boardroom, which is a dashboard application that I've been building for e-commerce brands. Let's have a look. All right, so I'm logged into Boardroom and the first thing that you'll notice is that Boardroom is a multi-store dashboard. So you can see here that I've got three Shopify sites and an Amazon Seller Central account connected here. I can see the breakdown of sales from each one as well as the total revenue right here. With Boardroom, you can also pull in data from your advertising platforms. So I'm talking about platforms like Google and Meta and Amazon ads and TikTok. And uh, we pull those in here so that you can quickly and easily compare the performance of your advertising across these different platforms on a page like this which to me is infinitely easier to digest than the clunky dashboards of all of these different platforms themselves. And this also prevents you from having to log into multiple platforms to monitor your ads. So pretty useful there. On the right side of the screen, we've got four key metrics that are highlighted here, but uh, please note that you can customize your homepage in Boardroom. So you can choose the four metrics that are most important to you and make sure that those are showing right here on the homepage. So five second backstory on Boardroom is that I used to run a few Shopify brands and Amazon businesses, and I got sick and tired of logging into both of those platforms as well as all of the advertising platforms and all of the 10 or 15 apps that I needed to manage my stores. So we designed Boardroom to be this centralized dashboard that not only pulls the data into one place, but also uh, helps you to do many of your business activities in one place as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, back in 2022, when the AI craze you know, started with ChatGPT, we decided to integrate with OpenAI and we pulled in that functionality in order to build some SEO features. So Boardroom uh, kind of distills SEO down into a manageable three-step process. And I know SEO can be overcomplicated sometimes, but we try to make it as simple and effective as possible while also enhancing it with AI. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is you know, one of our most popular features inside of Boardroom. So the first step of SEO that we've baked into the tool is keyword research. And if I come into the SEO slash AI section of the menu, we'll find our keyword research tool here in Boardroom. And it's super simple. The way it works is that you just type in the name of your product or any keyword that you know is related to your brand, and then click this generate button here. And what we're doing in the background is using AI to come up with a list of re relevant keywords for your business. So you can see here, in this case, we got 51 keywords that were returned. Uh, we can see snowboard, which is the sort of seed keyword that I entered here, but I get a ton of related keywords as well. And you can see how these are all in some way related to snowboarding. And for each one of these, I get the Google monthly search volume, cost per click if I wanted to advertise for this keyword, how competitive each keyword is from an advertising perspective. That's good to know. But most important here from an SEO perspective is the SEO ranking difficulty. So the lower the value here, the easier it would be to rank on the first page of Google for this particular keyword. So the combination of high search volume and low ranking difficulty is exactly what you're looking for when you want to start blogging on your website about these keywords. So that step one is to identify these highly relevant, high traffic, low competition keywords for your brand. Uh, and step two of SEO that we've built in to Boardroom is to consistently create great content that targets those keywords. So. Uh, to show you what I mean here, I'm gonna click create blog post next to one of these promising keywords like snowboard bindings. That takes me over to our create new post page in Boardroom. We can see the primary keyword for SEO has been plugged in here to the form. I can actually have AI suggest a topic based on that keyword. There it is, looks pretty good to me. I can choose a tone. We have some best practices for tone baked into the tool or I can enter a custom tone if I want. I can select a word count and then add any additional instructions here and click generate. So now we're using our proprietary AI prompt in the background to build out a really good blog post for your business. On the left side, we can see previously created posts, uh, both all those that are in draft, scheduled to be published for later, 
and those of that have been published already. And there we go, we just got the notification that my post has been created by AI. Here it is at the top. I can see the entire post there. Um, but we don't stop there. We give you an editor here in Boardroom. So this kind of looks like a Word document editor, kind of functions like one too, with one big twist, which is that on the right side, we give you an SEO score for this content. So we're evaluating this blog article against SEO best practices here, and we're giving you a list of optimization tips as well. So for example, uh, we can see that this post needs a meta description. So I can come over to the input tab. We can see a preview of what my post will look like on Google and a meta description box. So I can have AI draft a meta description, it's that easy. And then I can come back over here, refresh my SEO score. I think it was like 59 before, now it's up to 65. So we're making progress. We can see these meta description tips have been marked green, so I know that they've been satisfied. So looking good. We could um, you know, go through the rest of these tips and I recommend that you do so but you could also, you should also improve the quality of this post by inserting your own expertise into this article. Don't forget to do that. And one other thing that I wanted to show here, because this is my favorite part of this feature, is that since we're connected to your Shopify store, you can actually pull in products from your store and plug them into the blog, the blog post. So in this case, I'm selling snowboards. I'm gonna choose a couple of my snowboard products here. I could customize the design down here, but for now I'll just click add to blog post. And there we go. We can see that these products have been sort of inserted into the body of this post into this little widget here. So the idea is that Boardroom is gonna help you to not only get traffic to your website through this blogging feature, but also monetize that traffic by directing your blog readers to your product pages. So really cool feature there. And uh, I think the next thing I wanted to show you is that you can publish this post to your website in just a couple of clicks with this button here. I can choose uh, a store if I have multiple stores connected, that's helpful. I can add a cover image. I can change the URL slug if I want to. And then I can actually publish this immediately or I can schedule it to be published automatically at a later time. And a lot of our users like to use this feature um, since the AI makes it so simple to crank out blog posts. They like to create maybe, you know, 10 blog posts at a time or something and then schedule them to be published throughout the month in a sort of drip. Um, so that's that's pretty useful and that's how a lot of people use it. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click publish now. Boom, we can see that this was successfully published and uh, we're taken over to this Publish Posts tab. So that was step two, which is to consistently create great content that targets your keywords that you found in step one. Step three of SEO, which is also baked into Boardroom, is to get high quality backlinks for your website to boost your domain authority. Now, um, hopefully you're familiar with the concept of backlinks. If you're not, uh, just maybe do a quick Google search, but this is a super important factor in SEO. It can improve the trustworthiness of your website, and that's gonna to lead to more organic traffic in the long run from search engines like Google. So you can actually hire Boardroom through this Get Backlinks button here. Uh, it's also in the menu here uh, to go out on and get backlinks on your behalf. Now we have a network of bloggers that we uh, work with, and so we can go out into any industry you can imagine, as you can see here, and we can work with bloggers and basically pitch them on your site and get them to write an article that in some way mentions your brand and links back to your website. So we can do this across a bunch of different domain authority levels as well. And the higher the domain authority, the better, of course, for SEO. So you, if you do this consistently, this three-step process of keyword research, creating great content and getting backlinks, you're gonna start to see organic traffic growing at your business. And that is why that on average, after four months of consistent use, boardroom users see an average organic traffic growth of 204%. Okay guys, quick pause in the demo just to say that if you like what you see here in the boardroom app, I hope you'll like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, let us know what you think in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. All right, just a couple of more things that I wanted to show in the demo today. Uh, the first one is that boardroom also can be used to create other types of content using AI. So you can see here some of our content templates, but I wanna focus on the product photos template this time. 
This is a pretty cool feature. We actually integrate with a tool called Photo Room to uh, use AI to generate unique product photos for your business. So again, the twist is that we're connected to your Shopify store. So that's the advantage that we have over using, you know, Photo Room natively. To show you what I mean, I'm gonna click this from product page image source option. I'm gonna search for one of my snowboard products again, and that's gonna pull in the main image from my product page. Pretty basic right now, white background. If I scroll down, I could enter a custom prompt or I can choose from our list of templates here. Since I am selling a snowboard, I think snow-capped mountains makes sense. And I'll just click generate image here and you'll see how this feature works. But basically we're swapping out the background of that image and replacing it with, in this case, some snow-capped mountains. So this one looks pretty good. I like it. Um, I might regenerate this one just because there's not a lot of contrast between the color of the snowboard and the background, but you can generate as many photos as you want for free. And as you just saw, it takes like five seconds to do so. So no big deal there. And again, we're connected to Shopify. So what's super cool about this is I can click publish to Shopify right here and I can actually publish this image. I can set it as the main image if I want for a, a specific product page on my website and boom, I've just refreshed my product images in a matter of seconds. So another cool feature that I want to show you guys in Boardroom. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to return to a topic that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which is that Boardroom is really a multi-store dashboard. Now, what I mean by that is Boardroom does multi-channel analytics for e-commerce brands. So we have a ton of pages in our app that are dedicated to reporting and analytics features. So for example, here on our overview page, we can see that we get a ton of KPIs for my business. Each one comes with a tool tip to tell you exactly how it's ca calculated here. I can customize it and hide metrics that I don't care about, change the order so I'm highlighting things that I do care about. I can create reports here in Boardroom that are automatically delivered to my inbox daily, weekly, or monthly. So you can actually kind of monitor your business on the go. If you're a person who works out of your email a lot like me, this is a really popular feature. Um, you can see how your data is trending over time with our charts here and with the little trend arrows that you see here. So all of this is super useful. This is just our overview page, which shows you kind of business metrics at a high level, but we also dig into specific cuts of your data. For example, we have this customer list page in Boardroom. That's gonna show you not only customer lifetime value metrics that you see at the top here, but also a full scale sort of CRM that you don't get out of the box in Shopify, but we give you all of the contact information, location information, financial details, everything you can imagine about your customers, in particular from Shopify. And we've surfaced them in this little grid here. And this grid kind of looks like a spreadsheet and functions like one as well. You can click on any column to sort, type below here to filter uh, by any column. You can change the order of the columns, export it to Excel if you want to get crazy with it. There's a lot you can do here. So this is great for segmenting your customers. A lot of our users like to use this to create those segments and then use them in their uh, advertising targeting or email marketing, for example. So there's a lot of other analytics and reporting features that are here under the hood. I'll just show you one more, which is our profit and loss report. Here it is. And uh, this is one of our newer features in Boardroom, uh, but it's super cool. It gives you kind of a formal financial report, um, breaking down everything at your business. It's filterable. You can do it on a monthly or an annual basis. And coming soon, you'll be able to export and share this over email as well. So let me know what you guys think of this new feature in Boardroom. Excited to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, so that's Boardroom in a nutshell. I could go into a lot more detail, but I was trying to keep this video to a reasonable length. Would this be useful for your business? Uh, really curious to hear what you guys think. We've been working hard to develop this app and uh, would love to hear from you guys in the comments. So I'm Charlie from Boardroom, the creator of this app, and uh, thank you for watching.